in pro sport, we sometimes push pretty hard on weeks. There's plenty of weeks in our preseason where we are flying bloody close to the sun. I might be sitting at 1.6 on some of those acute to chronic. You know, if you believe everything to the T, like how dare you go to 1.6, you're gonna injure everyone. Sometimes you've got to go there to get them to where they need to be. Like we just don't have enough weeks to be sitting in this nice green zone. So it doesn't mean that you're going to injure everyone. It just means that week is a high risk week. So when it's a high risk week, what do you think you need to have a bit of a focus on? Recovery. Recovery. So when we're looking at high risk weeks for a, a, a client that's going to a marathon, do we pick a high risk week where they're going to be traveling or they've got work commitments, or they've got a friend's wedding. No, we pick a high risk week where we know that they're gonna get good sleep, they're gonna be able to eat well, they're gonna be able to get some recovery in. It's the same in, in sport. Our high risk weeks are high risk, but we also have a huge focus on everything else. They don't go and do big appearances. They're not driving to bloody Newcastle to do appearances for schools. Ma we're making sure that we don't have any other commitments that sit around it. We make sure for a lot of our, our younger kids that are doing exams for high school, or for high school, for uni and everything, that they don't have exam periods. Like we try and, it's not always perfect, but we try and make sure that that week that we know we're flying bloody close to the sun, that we're also doing everything we can to minimise the stress of it, okay? So please don't take this as a, oh, increasing training load can be bad. It's not. We've just got to understand when we can do it, why we're doing it, and then buffer around it as best as we can.